knows that the Mediterranean diet is one of the healthiest and most delicious in the world. That's what brings us to the home of a food blogger at thelemonbowl.com. This is Liz Delacroix, and Liz, I know that you have been making hummus for a long time. As long as I can remember, Rachel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's your secrets? You know, honestly, it's very simple. You'll probably be surprised to know how simple it is, but it's all about fresh garlic, fresh, bright lemon juice, and, you know, a good amount of salt, and that really picks up the flavor. It's so simple, you'll be really surprised. That's great. You're Middle Eastern, and so this comes a second nature to you. <laughs> My great aunt Viv has been making hummus for as long as I can remember. She's no longer with us, but I was very lucky to really shadow her for every holiday. I can remember standing by the counters while she was preparing it and perfectly garnishing it. And now that she's not here, it's my signature dish that I really get to pass on to the other generations coming up. So it's, it's really exciting and it's delicious. Yeah, okay, and I know your mom, so everyone yeah. in the family can enjoy hummus. And my 10 month old, he eats us all the time, he loves it, and once you see how easy it is to make it home, you're gonna wanna make it every week. Yeah, okay, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, you just take one can of chickpeas, 15 ounce cans, and just give it a quick drain into the water, gets rid of the canning liquids, and make, that way you can control the sodium in mm -hmm. the house. Okay. After that, you put it all in the food processor, you add the juice of one lemon. Each lemon, give or takes about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. You can add more or less if you like. You want to add about a quarter cup of tahini, which is this delicious sesame seed paste mm. full of heart healthy fats. Then you add about a half teaspoon of salt. Again, you can always add more later. Okay. Of course, my favorite ingredient of all time, garlic. Garlic. Fresh garlic. Very important. The great thing about the food processor, it does all the work for you. Mm -hmm. You add a couple tablespoons of water just to get things moving and it helps make it really smooth. And then same thing, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. That's it, Rachel. Really? That's it. Wow. Okay, so uh, I guess it's time to it's process. Time. You ready? I'm ready. So we're all processed, and Liz, I noticed that you put this on a plate instead of putting it in a bowl. I did, Rachel. There's a reason behind it. Hummus in our family is all about the garnish. Mm -hmm. Toasted pine nuts and fresh chopped parsley. And if you put it in a bowl, just a few people who take the first few bites are gonna get the garnish. If you put it in a nice flat serving platter or even just a plate, everybody gets a little bit of those delicious toasted pine nuts. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, and just, you wanna make sure you toast the pine nuts. When you toast them, you really bring out the natural flavor as, as opposed to a raw pine nut. Mm -hmm. You okay. can easily do it on a dry pan over the stove, or you can do it in the oven for 10 minutes at 350. Just a few extra steps like that really make it special. Okay. And then my Aunt Vive, who taught me how to make this, would always make the plate look beautiful, and she would just basically line it with some scallions as well, which are delicious to eat it with, in addition to the pita bread. And honestly, a few extra seconds, and it just makes it look completely different. And ah. It's a little gorgeous. olive oil never hurt anybody. Isn't that right, Rachel? Oh, no. It's very good for you. I can't <laughs> wait to try this. I hope you like it. And I got to think, Liz, this probably costs a fraction of it buying it in the store. costs pennies per serving. Mm. You know how expensive it can be to buy those tiny little tubs of hummus. Mm. This costs you pennies to make. It makes at least 16 servings per jar. The flavor, come on. Is it better? Well, it's exactly your motto. <laughs> it is wonderful. Liz's motto is healthy, healthy made, made delicious. delicious. You got it. Wonderful. I'm going back for more. Me too. Wow. So the secret is out, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, the nice thing is I love how she stayed passionate and true to her heritage mm -hmm. and the food that she grew up with and really put that healthy spin on it. And now she's spreading that and sharing that information with all the rest of us. I know. We're very fortunate because hummus is her thing. Mm -hmm. Like she says, you know, yeah. family gathering, she brings all the hummus. This is a great recipe. I made it at home last week and my whole family loved it. You can see it only takes minutes to whip up 
and that's time well spent because if you go to the store and you buy the hummus, mm -hmm. it can be really pricey. And you don't always know what you're getting in it. There may be exactly. some preservatives and other ingredients. So from that basic recipe, get this, you can make different variations, add maybe edamame, which mm. I actually have grown, believe it or not, to like that. Uh, roasted red pepper, sun-dried tomatoes, I'm getting hungry, roasted, <laughs> of course, instead of raw garlic, and the options, of course, go on as far as your imagination and taste buds can take you. Mm -hmm. Liz is great in the kitchen. Again, her blog is called thelemonbowl.com, and we'll have a link at our website. So hold on tight. A little bit later in the show, we're heading back into Liz's kitchen. She's going to show us how to make sparkling orange blossom lemonade. Ooh. Doesn't that just sound delicious? Sounds refreshing. Yeah. Especially as the hot weather builds in the next couple of days. A good late summer uh, drink. So grab a pen and piece of paper and get set. We'll be right back. 